getting it early. Hello. Let's see who is here. Hi, Val M and Perla. Hi, Michelle and Melissa. Hello. You know, it's that awkward time where you're live and you're like, am I live? Do people see me? So you have to let me know that you see me if you see me in the chat. Good morning. Happy Friday. TGIF. It's been a week. It has been a week. Hi, Karen. Oh, Define is in Greece. Oh my gosh. Greece is a place that I, I want to go to so badly. Hi, Emma. Oh, thanks. Oh, hi, Daniel. Thanks, my hat. You know what? This is, you can get these hats. Um, Pam, my friend from Little Red Porch, she is doing her restock tonight at six o'clock Eastern on littleredporch.com. I put a link in my on my Instagram post, but she's the she's she makes the the shirt and the signs, and so she's doing a restock tonight. If you would like to purchase one, hi Sean. All right, so this morning I'm going to open up some friend mail, and then we can just you know chit chat. You know, if you've got any questions, you can type them in. If I see them, I'll answer them. Hello, hi Sue. It's just nice sometimes just to come on here and just hang out and not and be live and be able to talk with you guys. And I'm not having a sale because you know when I'm having a sale, then I'm just so focused on that. So it's kind of nice just to be able to just to come on here, just to spend a little bit of time with you guys and chat. Jared, you 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 could still work. You could listen to me while you work. All right, so I this this first thing I did open up already, and it was from Diane McIntosh. I don't know if you're watching Diane, but Diane sent me something in the mail, an envelope, and it said, Misty, thank you for teaching me all about great old things I've inherited from my mother-in-law and other members of my household family. Enjoy the photos. So, so from Diane McIntosh, and she sent, these are, and Diane, you're gonna have to let me know if you, if you, took these yourself but look see the dandelion and so wildflower antiques this our kind of symbol for our business was the dandelion but i don't know if you can tell but you see the little the little wishes coming off and then she sent me i'm gonna i'm gonna put this one i might put all of them in my frame actually who knows what tell me if you diane you're here you took them yourself i love them it's they're so good Okay, now Diane, don't give it away. So let me know who knows what this building is. If Sandy's here, Sandy will know for sure. Emma, you can't say either. Who knows what this building is? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to be there right this second, even with all the snow. Who knows what this building is? It's not the White House. It's not the White House. It's on it's at my favorite place in the, the grand hotel yes mackinac island this is the grand hotel oh, it is grand too one of these days i'm gonna stay there i don't know how but because it's expensive and i'm kind of cheap all right and then this is the other picture diane sent i am going to put these in a frame i'm gonna put them in a frame and i'm i'm thinking about you can't really see what's on my wall though, but I, I'm thinking about doing my gallery wall here at the shop with my, um, the uh, sheet music. Ooh, cause I don't have anywhere on my walls at home, but I'm gonna hang these up here at the shop, Diane. Thank you, thank you so much for these. Oh, and she sent this little apple card in here too. Are you guys ready for spring? <laughs> I know we're supposed to get winter storm. I don't think it's supposed to be bad here, but I think that you guys out west, I think, are getting a little bit of a cold front, maybe. I love them, Diane. Thank you so much. This next package is from I Don't Know. This is a little envelope here. Is this something that I... No. Oh, it says, a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. These are great for removing stickers. From Denise Brum. Denise... 
These are Scotty peelers. You know what? I have one left and Mark and I fight over it all the time. So these are great. They are called Scotty peelers. You can get them on Amazon and they're not very expensive, but I, this is, Diane, you just, or not Diane, Denise, you just saved lots of arguments when Mark and I are taking like stickers off. These are great. Hi. Oh, I know. I'm going to show that in a minute, Barb. I'm going to show that in a minute. Um, these are called Scotty peelers. So they're plastic. And so you can, if you have a, your Goodwill tags, you can, you know, you can scrape it off. Um, it works pretty well. Someone else told me about some undone that they use to get things off of, uh, stickers off of ephemera without damaging. You know how people put the stickers on the books and that drives everybody crazy. It drives me crazy. Um, you can, it, it won't harm the book and you can still get it off. So these are Scotty peelers. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting these. Thank you, Denise. You saved some arguments between Mark and I because we're always fighting over that one. Monday, you're getting a lot of snow in Pennsylvania. 18 inches. Or, see, I want that much snow. As long as, as long as everybody, like all my chickens are home, you know, and everybody can be safe. Oh, good. I'm so glad, Heidi, because I was worried she got that cookie jar. Okay, so I'm going to show, I'm going to show this. This guy, I bought, oh, I've got a snag on my nail and it's just driving me nuts. This is a Rushton bunny. I got him from the same lady that I got all the Rushton Santas from. I've had, I've had him for a little while and I was going to keep him until I looked him up on eBay. Now he is the purple, you, here, just look at that sweet face. He's got his little carrot and he's got the r white rubber paws in the, um, on eBay, this colorway, well, the the pink ones i think were selling for like three hundred dollars but the purple ones were selling for a little over four four hundred dollars four hundred dollars that that just seems that just i mean i like these a whole lot but i'm not gonna pay four hundred dollars for it but some people do but yeah he he's in he's in good condition yeah this is rushton he doesn't have his tag anymore. Or it's a star creations resting. Barb, you're going to pay $400 for this? No, you're not. No, you're not. But yeah, he is so, so cute. I was going to keep him. I, I bought him with the intention of keeping him. So he's just kind of hanging out right here because I got to get him. I have to get him on eBay because, you know, it's almost that time. It's, when, when is Easter this year? I haven't even looked. Something about him scares you. They're jolly. They're jolly. I like, I like things with weird faces. But I don't like clowns. Oh, good. Oh, good, Plant Pamela. Have a chill day. Have a chill day. All right. This next box is from Sean Rapetto from Florida. Okay. Ooh, get it up. And then look, the next layer. Well, Sean, you take this good. Which is good. It's good. April 4th, so it's early this year. What? Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, and it's like lustery and pink. Look at this little face. It's made in Japan. You guys, what am I going to put in this? I was going to say cheese. No, I'm not going to put cheese in it. Second guess would be an airplane. I need to order some. I need to order some. I've had some that have passed away. Because, well, the itty bitty ones don't do very well for me. The bigger ones do pretty good for me. But my, but my little ones... They, they don't, they, they have passed, they have passed on, they have passed on. I love that. All right. 
think there's something else in here. This is from Sean Rapetto. Rapido. Oh. oh, Michelle. Look away, Michelle. Look away. Hi, Bell Blossoms. Look away. Eek. Eek. Oh, I love this one, how it's like rusty. How do you kill an air plant? Well, when you forget to water it for a month, uh, two weeks. I usually soak mine in water for 20 minutes um, every Sunday, but sometimes I forget. And like last weekend, I worked all weekend, so I didn't, I didn't soak them at all. But oh, I love that these are rusty. Oh my gosh, I love these. This one's splicing tape. Wait, a year? Pamela, do you have good luck with air plants? Well, Sean, you didn't include a note. It wasn't on the thing. But it's from Sean. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. I love those so much. I'm going to put an air plant on that. Eek. Oh, I wanted to tell you, too, that... Um... Oh, it's Sean! It's you, Sean. Well, I got another box from you, too, Sean. I always forget that that's your last name. I always... You're always... You're, you're, you're Sean Glosson. You, that's what you'll be. I will always call you Sean Glosson. <laughs> Thank you. I, I didn't realize. Well, I got another box over here from Sean that I will open next. Thank you, Sean. Sean is um, key totally vintage. So make sure that you, Sean, put your um, your YouTube channel link in so everyone can go and follow you. He it lives in Florida, and um, he posted, I think he posted on Instagram, a picture or a recipe for a keto um, carrot cake, I think, and it, and it looks so good. I couldn't do the keto diet because I don't eat a lot of meat. So make sure that you go follow Sean. Where does one buy an air plant? I, get, I order mine on Amazon. And they come fine. They come as live plant. And um, they're usually just wrapped in a tissue paper. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so also, if you have emailed me about stickers, I just got them yesterday. So I got a new batch of stickers in. So I'll be working on getting those sent out. So kind of if, you, if you've requested one i'll send you an invoice for one but these are it and um, they're four dollars if you want one you can just send me an email and um, i can send one to you they're four dollars hi kitschy kelly all right sean i'm gonna open up the other one Ugh. gonna open it now this one sean and i made out of, we worked out a little deal but something weird happened and I have to make his deal right. So, he sent me these. We we worked out a deal, let's just say. Right, Sean? So, today I've got to figure out what happened to his thing. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't be sorry about the tape, Sean. You got to tape it good because the post office, sometimes, I worry about I'm, that I'm, I don't tape mine enough. Hi, Zeno. Zeno, you and George need to come down here. You need to come down here. Look, Sean, I'm going to recycle and use all these. And this. Oh, Sean, you wrapped it so nice and you put all these little, little, festive little things in here okay are you guys ready now thank you Dolores I have you know I bought those bluebirds of happiness and I've gotten a lot well speaking of bluebirds of happiness there's uh Laura right there hi Laura she's a bluebird of happiness hi Kelly so, 
I'm gonna show you some bluebirds and some of these I am saving for a, yeah, I know, I know Zeno, he's all over the place. He's a gypsy, George is a gypsy. He's Uncle Professor Gypsy George. Um, these, some of these blue birds of happiness are gonna be available in, in live sales. I'll try to make, make sure that's the, that's the case, but look at this one. Ooh, what? It's a red bird. It's a red bird of happiness. Well, and I think it's supposed to be a cardinal. And this one is a uh, W Ward. W Ward, 1987. Oh, no, they're Leo Ward. Boop, boop, tweet, tweet. This is a red bird of happiness. A red, red bird. They... <sighs> I can't for the life of me right now. This is what always happens. I'll go live and my brain will not work. They are made by a company. And actually the company, I think as of this year or last year, closed. Um, golly, Tucko? No, I don't know. If you know, put it in the thing. Oh my gosh. Willow. This, now this one's made... Willow Creek Glass. Oh my goodness gracious. It's so beauty. Look at that. It's a little baby. Tara, that's it, Tara. We're gonna say Tuco, Tuco's a puzzle. He's so weedle. Now this one has like, um, it almost looks like orange and red. He's so little. I know, I like the little ones too. And they look good if you put them all, you know, in a in a line in a windowsill. Now that one is not made by, um, I don't think that one would be made from tarot. And then we have, this one is Oh, good gracious. I don't know. It's 1989. I can't tell. It's a, he's chunky. Oh, I like this. I can relate to you, little guy. I can. He's chubby. I'll have to, when I open up another one, we'll have to look. But he is a chubby little fella. He's so cute. Oh, thanks, Suze. You can get these from littleredporch.com. She's going to have a relaunch tonight. She's a small, a small, um, you know, local company here in Bedford. Thank you, Vintageous. Okay, well, here's another one. Okay, this one's a little bit, it's also W. Ward 1989. He's his twin brother. This one is just chunky. Hi, Alan. Alan, welcome. Oh my gosh, I love these. And then, got more. We've got more. Yeah, Little Red Porch has cool stickers too. I actually have on my Yeti cup. It's a, it's she has a sticker. You know the big heart that's in my haul videos. Um, she makes stickers as that one too. See, this one's not very chonky. It's, this one is Ron Ray. Ron, Ron Ray, 1989. So see, I, I may have to keep this one. But look, look at how chonky he is. Your parents were just at West Baden, said it was, rel said it was a relative deal right now. Ooh, that's good to know, Zeno. I've, I want to stay there, but it's expensive and I'm cheap. But look at the difference. I love this little chubby one. It's like I'm looking in a mirror. Good morning, Angel. Oh, I think this is gonna be another cutie one. Sean, you did so good wrapping them. Oh, yes. This one is W. Ward, 1989. Oh! 
mad at him. I love teeny things. Ah. That's so cute. Oh. I love them. Love, love, love. Now this one, this one's also made, no. Cardinal of Virtue, baby. Titan Art Glass, Fayette, Arkans, Fayette, Arkansas, 1988. Well, you wanna see what it is? I guess I should show you. Titan Art Glass, Cardinal of Virtue. That one's pretty, and it still has the, it's a baby. Love. There's more. See, Jeffrey thought he got all the birds. He didn't. Oh my gosh, here's another chunky one. Are you as big as your chubby brother? No. He's not as chubby. Not as chubby. Hi, Shirley. Oh my gosh, my chat wasn't working. I love the tiny ones. Oh, thanks, Catherine. She listens while she works. Do 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 do. Sean, you did a, such a good job. Sean actually, he, Sean sells things on Instagram too. Um, so go check out his Instagram. He has a lot of things listed right now. Um, so go. It's key totally vintage. Oh my. I have never, look at the pink one. I, this one's so, oh my gosh, Sean, look at that. It's a light pink. This one, oh my goodness, it is Leo Ward 2009. It's, is it, it's coming off white. The pink one, it, it fell back into the box. The pink one was for breast cancer. Oh, this one's a special one. That one's so pretty. I've never seen a pink one. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Let's see, we've got 193 people watching and 72 thumbs ups. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Here's another blue, a little baby. I cannot tell who signed it. He's so pretty. I know everyone's going, oh my gosh, the pink one. Oh, it, my table's just full of happy. Look at that. That's a table full of happy right there. That's a table full of happy. Oh, I think this one might be a mama. Or daddy. Titan art glass. This one just says, happy little bird. W Ward. I can't say the date. 1990. These are all in excellent condition, too. <laughs> the small one. <laughs> Does it really show up? How can you tell the difference? Mm. This one's gender neutral. You can't. You cannot tell the difference. Oh my gosh, I love those. Sean. And then there's this big guy. I mean, it's not. A, it's not a, a big. Leader. Hi, Nancy. Okay. Pardon me while I open. Hi, Soda Pop Resale Shop. That's a fun name to say. Sean, was it carrot cake that you made? Was that what I saw? Hi, junk in her trunk. Oh my gosh. So this is Royal Copley. 
I've sold one similar to this before, but I've not sold this one. It's Royal Copley Bear with a guitar. It's so cute. It's beautiful Royal Copley. I, the way that Royal Pip, Royal Popley? No, Royal Copley. The way that it's painted is so nice. It almost looks like it's airbrushed. But yeah, he's playing a guitar in his little bow. He's in excellent condition too. So that's cool. Sean, I love it all. And I'll get you your, your, uh, the rest of your thing. I'll get it sent out today. Okay. I've got three more things. This, oh, I don't know. I don't know if she's watching, but this is from Thrift You. And I don't know if they sent me something or if I bought something. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. It's a rocking teddy bear. Oh my, I either need to, maybe I need some better scissors because these scissors aren't working too well. Oh no, there's packing peanuts. I'll use this box. See, I don't remember. I don't remember if I if I ordered these or from their sale or if I bought them. I No, I didn't, Carol, but I'm going to the post office today. I'm going to the post office today, so I will check my my PO box. Oh, I, I bought these. Oh my God. Now I paid up for these. These didn't, I didn't get these easily. Get your little hat. Oh my gosh. Wait, let's just talk while I'm opening them. What do you guys want to talk about? What shall we talk about? Uh -oh. Will I get these? Open? Hi, Chris. Chris is in California. Lots of, you know what, I looked on um, my, uh, what's it called, pirate ship statistics yesterday, and it said that the majority of my customers are from California. Oh my gosh, man, you guys wrap these good. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see these. They're Holt Howard. Look, they're little mices. They're Holt Howard. And they're like a, they're almost like a pink color. They don't make noises. They kind of make, oh my gosh, I love these. Look at how they're holding their hands. They're different. Aren't they cute, Chris? Do you ever have any concerns when joking about bed bugs and how do you deal with if you find some? Um, no, I mean, I used to, I used to sell clothing and I, and I used to, um, you know, source a lot from the bins. So now when I go to, when I go thrifting and stuff, I'll, I look for linens and that kind of thing. Um, the, the best thing to do that I have found or what I have done is like, if you, it's like if you go to the bins to tie the like bring some I've I have never had that experience so I I'm sure that it does happen I've never had that experience but I would tie the bags real tight you bring some trash bags and tie the bags real tight and then as soon as you get home you throw it in your um, washing machine and you wash it in hot and make sure that you dry it and it's the heat that will kill whatever might be lurking. So, um, I got those from Thrift Use Live Sale. All right, now this is from Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou, who? I don't know if she's watching. I haven't seen her. She is. Cindy Lou. Yeah, those are, ooh, I love those shakers. To my favorite YouTuber. 
that's you. That's you, Cindy Lou Who. Pop up thrift store is your your YouTube handle. I didn't realize. Oh, this is. Oh, did you make these cards? There's the card. Isn't that fun? It's very mod. Okay. Hey, Misty. I love watching your YouTube channel. I have a shop in Westerville, Ohio, which is a suburb of Columbus, Ohio. I wanted to send you some things from my shop. Ooh, you know what? Jeffrey and I were talking that we need to take another trip to Ohio. There is good thrifting in Ohio. There is good thrifting in Ohio. We're definitely, we're definitely going to go back there for the extravaganza this fall. That's a for sure going to happen. That is for sure going to happen. But um, there's good thrifting in Ohio. And good, there's some good stores in Ohio. Bye, Zeno. Um, I, uh, I thought you would like. You are so my people. I hope you can come visit someday. Yes, I shall. Love, Julia. I crafted the keychain cards and matchbox. Ooh, all from Vintage Item. My shop, my shop's name is a gal named Cindy Lou. Look at how cute her cards are. Look at the little frozen Charlotte on there. So she's got a Facebook page and an Instagram, Cindy Lou Shop. Sixties, seventies. Well, I'm gonna add your card. I have a collection of cards when I buy something from somebody, and I have them. I have them on my wall, so I will add that to my wall. Oh, and she made th she made these cards, and she sent me she sent me a, an extra one. So she crafted these. Oh my gosh! Look at these matches. Look at the kitty. Oh, for, oh, I opened up the wrong way. Oh, these are for candles. And then I can display it. And I, can be like, I need to light a candle. Oh, there's my cute little candle holder. Oh, my gosh. The Dow Drug Company. Here's an old matchbox. Look at that font. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You were at Cindy's place last week. I want to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to have to go. I want to go to Cindy's place. Michelle, look away. Look away, Michelle. It's another one. A big one. What would be your holy grail? I, I want, and there's, there's treasures on the inside. I want to find a, now I want to find one in the wild still, but Michael, the cult of vintage Michael, he gifted me for Christmas, the winking Holt Howard Santa picture. But that's one of the, but I want to, I want to find that in the wild. And he did find it in the wild. So he, he checked something off of my bucket list. I always want to find Holt Howard items, and I and I have. They, I'd always just I always flip out when I find them. But Fire and Light, I don't know if you if you don't follow me on Instagram, you you probably don't know. But I was at a little thrift store, and I didn't film. I wish I would have filmed now, but I just I I took the day off from filming and so hey norma jean hey mama jay and so i didn't film that day but i wish i would have now because in the small little little um thrift store i found fire and light i found a fire and light candle holder that i need I got, i'm gonna try getting it listed today maybe um and it sells for well over $300 and I paid 50 cents for it. So still fire and lie. I still want to find more. Now I want to find more. Yeah. I'll take those. <laughs> There's goodies. And I love these raking it in. I have a little bit longer one of the, I love these, this company, um, that I keep my camera 
Oh, bye, Alan, Alan. Glad you came. I keep my extra camera batteries in. Oh, that camera. I'm so sorry about my video on, what day was it? Mon Wednesday morning? I was having a rough go. I don't know what the deal was with my camera. Oh, and she made this little card too, using an old vintage pen. It's a little, oh, can't see it. A little mouse sitting on that dog. It's a little card. Well, maybe she didn't make it. it says it's from the bug house. The bug house. She said she did make this keychain though. Oh, I love that. This is a vintage, you know, one of those plastic vintage keychains. I'm gonna put that on my keychain. I'm going to do that as soon as we're done here. When I'm with you, there's only one thing I can say. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Look at them. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh my gosh. The pink bird of happiness is still available from Terra Studios. Oh, great. And the last little thing is a, oh, you know what? This matches my, oh, here's, you guys, I'm, st I still have these shirts still available and I'm working on some new merch and it's good. It's really, really good. I'm really, really excited about it. Just, you know, we are all, all I'm going to say, there's something else in the matchbox. Oh, there he is! Oh, all I'm going to say real quick, oh, she sent me this hair clip too. <laughs> and it matches my shirt. Is we are all part of the Vintage Rescue Squad, right? That's all I'm going to say. There, there's your hint. The Vintage Rescue Squad. We're all in the squad together, right? All of us, all of us are in the squad. The vintage rescue squad. I don't, the, the, thing, the thing of it is when I filmed that day, it, I had filmed before and the stabilizer was fine, but then I did it again and it was horrible. So I, I don't know if we, if I messed something up on the settings and I turned it off. That, that's probably what happened. So, hi, Julia. Okay, so there is a little something in here. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sean. There's all sizes. Oh, my gosh. Look at that little baby. Hi, Sarah Lee. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to hold her by her little... Look at her. Look at her little hands and her little feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. And I love that she's in this little matchbox. She's like the rescuers, down, not the rescuers down under the, the lip. What was Thumbelina? I don't know. But that's so cute. Thank you so much. I love everything. I love it, Julia. I love everything. And I'm going to come to Ohio. And I'm going to shop in your shop. Good morning, Kim. Okay. And I'm going to put this keychain on my keys. This is the last one. And it is from Andrea Wright. It's a teeny baby. Wait, 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 what was that? A homemade crocheted dress, yes. It was, I think. It had to have been. Oh my. Andrea put a lot of fun in this bag. Wow, wow. Oh, okay. Here, Misty. Here are the, or dear Misty, not here, Misty. Yes, the little baby can go and can can dance around on the on the uh, little poof, the dandelion poof. Oh, 
I ordered two plus size four X loose fit. Love that you offer. Oh, God, I got to offer plus size because I am one. Thank you. Yes, they, she does have a t-shirt. Six o'clock tonight, Little Red Porch is going to have a restock. And I'm going to go order one. I want a t-shirt. They are really good. These the the shirts that you order from really any of a any of a YouTube um, person, they are super soft. And I get the or they're Bella Canvas, so they're, so they're super soft. So I really like them. All right, dear Misty. See, I get off I get off track. That's the ADHD. Uh, here are the linens I was telling you about. They are from our grandmothers and mothers, and have been in my linen closet forever. Here's this maroon. Some of the tea towels have never been used. You're welcome to keep, sell, or give away. I'll be happy that they have a new home. The needlepoint kits I purchased years ago with all intentions of doing them, but life happened. I've included several brooches that you might use for your brooch giveaway. Yes, one would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Some people... Oh, why would you, why would you not have... I don't know, but there are, there will always be on mine. Happy, oh, I will continue to keep you in mind as I downsize. Happy thrifting. So this is from Sue Bennett. Why did I say it was from Andrea Wright? It's from Sue Bennett. <laughs> Sue Bennett. There, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Okay, so let's just go from, oh my gosh, these are great. Look at these pot holders. These are Amish made. I can tell. Look at that. The workmanship. And then there's this one. Look at that vintage fabric. Oh, I love that one. Little hot pads. You can put your hot, your hot pot. I love that one. Oh, and they're double sided. Well, that one's not. It's just white. But this one is. Fun. And then, ooh, these crocheted ones. Could be earrings, too. This is fun how it's, like, braided in. Then, oh, my goodness. These tea towels are, aw are awesome. This one's never been used. And it is vintage. There is no, there's no tag of it being modern. Look at that. Oopsie. Oh, that, there's a little, oh, she got scared. She got scared of the mice or the mouse. She's, now look at her. She's only got an apron. We talk about these saucy aprons. That's all she has on. It's just an apron. This one's never been. Oh my gosh, this one still has the sticker on it. Sun glow, hand painted. Look. Aren't those cool? Oh my, I love these. That's cool. And then we have, this one is, this will be pretty for fall. Someone has embroidered this towel. And see, they put that trim on the bottom. It's very, Michelle, it's very boho. Yeah, they do. They look brand new. They've never been used. Oh, I love this one. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That one is so Art Deco. And it's on the seafoam green. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, Little Red Porch is on Instagram. Oh, hello, Jeffrey. You're watching from the shower? Okay. Well, I'm glad you're taking a shower. It's, it's time. Um, she, but she also has a website, uh, littleredporch.com. Jeffrey, I got all these tea towels from a viewer. And here's an orange one. Aren't they pretty? Oh, 
Oh, I love this one. This teal. I love that color. These are like, this is like a, like a tan. <gasps> Orange is your favorite, Orange is my favorite color. Orange is my favorite color too. Well, and, and aqua and teal. Here's a purple one. That's very Eastery. But these are nice. They're folded up. You know, I have them. They're even longer than that. They open up again. But they've never been used. I'll probably... Those have to stay together. And then here's two pillowcases. These are pretty. Look at those. There's a set of pillowcases. I, there is just nothing, there is nothing like the feel of vintage linen. It's that percale or something in it. Um, are the shout outs so we feel included because it worked? I won the blue. Oh, yes. I, uh, well, yeah, of course I did. I won the Bluebird of Happiness War. It really wasn't a war. I know Jeffrey got a couple of comments that people were like, you should have gave them to Misty. I would not have wanted them if he did. That's not how it works. When you go, there's like a code. When you go thrifting with someone who is also a thrifter or a reseller, it's very much finders keepers. It, that's just the way that it is. Now, Jeffrey knew that I was looking for planters, and he, he, he gave me one. He found one, and he said, I don't really need planters. I know you do. It's just kind of, it's the, the thrill of the hunt. So we're, we're looking for these things, and it's just as much fun for me to, I know you were kidding, Sean. It's just as not much fun for me to help him find something or help somebody else find something as it is for me to find something on my own. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't like to go, that's why I kind of like to go thrifting by myself is because you are seeing everything. You don't have anybody else that's telling you, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I want to find it myself. Um, but it's also fun to go with someone as well. And Jeffrey and I have a lot of fun when we're together, but we've decided that when we get together again, we're going to figure out something to do because it's too much. It's like, we're filming at the same place. We're filming, blah, 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 blah. it's, and I think when, when Jeffrey, after his videos with me, I was teasing him um, and I, I looked at his, I watched his next video that he had w w when he was shopping with Barb. And so many people were like, oh, thank God Barb's back. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, Barb's back. Thank God. Because Jeffrey and I together are very excitable. But yeah, I think people were happy, Barb, that you were back. Thank the Lord that, that Barb is back and Misty is not in these videos anymore. Oh, this is pretty. This is a table, a table runner with birds. It's bluebirds. It's bluebirds. It is exciting to find something that you've been looking for. And it's exciting to help somebody else find something that they've been looking for. Don't this. Oh, we're, oh, it's not going to stop us from filming together. But but we're going to try to, like, make it two different perspectives. You know what I mean? The Bluebird Runner. It's cute. And there's this one. Some people do. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Jeffrey and I, we, we, go, we go to a lot of places. And there's these. These are pretty. We shop till we drop. And this will be great for St. Patrick's Day with the green trim. Let's 
Sue, you... Oh, my gosh, look at these. Pink. Sue, this was so generous. My goodness. I told her to at least let me pay for shipping, and she said no. Look at these little... Now, people have made these into... Um, they hang them. I've seen them hang above, like, their kitchen sink into, like, a little valance. I think that would be cute for a vintage kitchen. And they're, oh, my gosh, these are perfect for Valentine's Day. Look at these little red ones. The red trim. And another green one that matches the other one. And another green one. So there's three of these green ones. My next sale will be Tuesday. It's a four-way sale. on. It'll be on Michelle Comfy Cozy Living's channel. Um, there'll be me and Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage Co., and um, Michelle, and oh my gosh, wait till I show you this next thing, you're going to die, and Michael from The Cult of Vintage. Um, th then, but my sale, my solo sales are every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Hi, Vintage Discoveries. Okay, wait till you see this. I'm, I'm, I'm dying right now. I, I'm, this is so good. Look at this apron. Look at this apron. I'm so keeping this apron. Look at this. That is freaking amazing. And it's just got a little bow. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I'm keeping that one. That one's going to hang in my kitchen. Isn't it cute? It's got a big face on it. And I love faces. Emma. It's, she's probably not watching anymore. Emma, did you see my... She'll hate it. She'll hate it. Whew. That got me all excited there for a minute. And then... Ooh, this one has a little, like, a um, Chinese lantern. That's pretty. Normally, they're, you know, they're like a mirror image on each side, but this one's different. Oh, yeah. Um, I have like a hook in my kitchen. Yeah, Michelle put the link for Tuesday's channel. Well, to her channel. We still got more. We still got more. Oh, this one's cute, too, with the little... With a girl on it, which reminds me, this girl reminds me, I have started watching Bridgerton. I think that's how you say it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so naughty. It's so good. Oh, here's another apron. Oh my word. Look at this apron. Look at the color. This is, it's, 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 it's homemade. It's like brand new. Oh, I love that. Michelle, I, you have a P.O. box. Yeah, I think she does. Oh, I know. Bridgerton was so good. If you haven't watched it. Now, don't watch it with your kids in the room. If you've got, if you have young kids, because there's lots of, there's lots of um, S-E-X in it. But it's so good. And it's like set in like Victorian England time, but the, like the music that they dance to, you know, when they have their dances and stuff, it's all like modern songs, but they made them sound Victorian. It's really, it's really, really good. Here's another ape apron oh wow oh purple girl look at her this is a purple apron i love these and it has this really pretty trim hi carrie michelle michelle you need to get a p.o box don't be giving people your address come on you don't know that's not, you gotta give them, you gotta get a P.O. box. Just saying. <gasps> Ooh! 
These are Holly Hobby. They are Holly Hobby. The original Holly Hobby. American Greetings. These have never been used. My gosh, Sue, you took such good care of these. There's another apron. Oh, this one's a pretty color too. This apron's for a big gal. This is for a big gal. I, I like it because I can I can appreciate that. It's a big apron. Look at the dress. I love these. You know, if you guys remember, I mean, do you remember like your, your mom wearing aprons? You know, if you lived back when ladies wore aprons, um, 1813 Regency period. Yeah, it's so good. But you know, like, like you, she would have an apron. Like, of course my mom didn't wear an apron, but um, you, you would have an apron that went with your dress. You know, that kind of thing. Okay, and then here's some cross-stitch kits. These are pretty. The pleasures of spring. They're sealed. Never used. Ooh, this one's fun. It's a Southwest. Ooh, this is cruel. Needlepoint. Okay, this is needlepoint. And that one's cross stitch. That's pretty. <laughs> you don't have... Why don't I? I know. Why don't, do you ever just stop and think? Now I have aprons hanging on my wall and I'll be cooking and I'll be making a mess everywhere and I'm wiping it on and I'm like, I got an apron right there, but it's, it's too inconvenient to go grab it, I guess. And then here are the brooches. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, Carrie, Carrie, look away, Carrie, look away. Look, Carrie, it's an owl with a rainbow wing. Oh, I love it. That is so pretty. I love that. Oh, and speaking of, oh, The Crown is also a good Netflix show to watch. And here we have a crown with all these different jewels in it. Oh, Diane. Oh, yeah, you, you were here earlier. I was like, I opened your package. Diane said, my mother-in-law would tell me to put an apron on. <laughs> it would drive her crazy. Oh, I lean on the counter, too. And when I bake, oh, gosh. There's stuff everywhere. This is the one that, it, it is perfect for, I say perfect for Halloween. Perfect for Valentine's Day. And it's got these little dingle berries on it when you walk you can dingle your berries i like those oh the queen's gambit yes yes the queen's gambit we watched it in one setting and we never do that we we watch tv for maybe about an hour at night and um we on uh, one Saturday night, we, we watched, it was so, so, so good. I didn't think that I would like it because I thought it would be about chess and I don't care about, nor I, do I understand chess, but, um, it was so good. So good. Um, and then, yeah, the queen's gambit. It's all, it's a show on Netflix. It was so good. And I loved The Crown. Um, I loved Harlots. Harlots is on Netflix too. It's super saucy. It is about prostitutes that are at war. It's a turf war between the prostitutes during Victorian Eng England. It was good. Virgin River. I've heard that was good, Shirley. Virgin River. But um, Harlots is very good. It's saucy. Again, you don't want to watch it with your children if you've got young children in the room. But it's 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 saucy. Hi, Linda. I I I don't even know what to say. This was great. This was fun. 
Thank you so much, Sue. I, that it was an amazing thing to send me. I, I so, so, so appreciate it. You took such good care of these. So I'm, I'm, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, the junk in our trunk. Yeah, it's on Hulu. Hulu, right? Or did, I don't know if it was on Netflix. I think it was on Netflix, but probably on Hulu as well. Um, have you watched Miss Maisel? I haven't, and I need to. How about we all dress up and join a dressed up host to chat or haul? That would be fun. You know, when I when I quit my job, I got rid of so many clothes. I pretty much I don't I saved like a nice thing for if I ever had to go to a wedding or a funeral. But I like but but I'm okay with that. We should we should make a rule you have to go and thrift your outfit. That would be fun. Thrifters are a generous bunch. This community is awesome. This community is full of very kind and genuine and um and generous and uh just helpful this community is great it it really really is great don't let anybody tell you otherwise but it this community is great this community is not cutthroat this community is very supportive of one another and we all can't see each other but you well, okay <laughs> oh hi peterson I love this community too. It's a wonderful, wonderful community. Um, and it, it just is. I, I mean, I, one of these days, one of these days we are going to have a convention. We are. We are going to have a convention. Yeah. Oh, Sean, I know. I'm so, I'm still so sorry about the loss of your mom. How long did it take you to get up the nerve to do a live sale? Well, Daniel, I'm not shy. So it didn't take a lot. <laughs> it didn't take a lot. Uh, I, I'm the type of person, like, I like to talk in a room full. I would rather, if I had my choice to talk into a room full of two people versus a room full of 400 people, I would choose the room full of 400 people. Um, I, I, I just, I just don't, I, I, it, it, the only thing that is, is a little worrisome is, are the comments, you know, people can be mean, um, people can say not very nice things, um, or they can, um, I don't know. I mean, it, it that, that's the only thing, um, but then you just, you filter and you, you delete and you move on. Um, but yeah, I, it's never, the thing of it is I, I had, I had my first live sale about a year ago was when I first started doing them. And I had so I think I, maybe I had 30 people, maybe 30 people watching me. Um, I can't even remember how many subs I had. I wasn't at, I don't even know if I was at a thousand when I had my, yeah, I was, I was at least at a thousand, um, subs. I think, I don't remember. I'll have to, I'll have to look. Um, but having an audience definitely helps. I mean, that's one thing that I was telling Sean, um, Sean has Sean, he, he totally vintage. He has some things that he's trying to sell on Instagram. He's taken pictures of, and he said, I haven't sold anything. Um, but it's, you have to get eyes on your thing. So if you have a live sale, advertise it um uh do we have a troll problem maybe if you're a moderator you can i'll let you deal with that um but yeah trying to build up an audience and really with youtube that's that's kind of the that's kind of the the hard part. That's definitely the hard part is building up an audience. But the way that you do that is just being consistent with your videos. Um, it's uh, hi hi Sam or Sarah. I opened up my mice. I couldn't remember if I bought them or if you sent them to me. Um, and I've already lost my train of thought. 
Okay. See, and getting feedback, like Bernice Marie Vintage, she just said that she looked at Sean's, but she doesn't know how to get a hold of him. So maybe just having, maybe have a post, maybe it even says, you know, you know, if you want something, just email me or just send me a message. Uh, but being consistent and listing consistently. And like, if you have a YouTube channel, depending on when you're going to put out your videos, put them out at a consistent time. Um, and, you know, be a part of people's, you know, be part of the community. Come to the chats and the live sales. And, you know, you can get, you can build an audience that way as well. Um, if you participate in the chat and, and get, let people get to know you. And the only, the only thing that is, it's okay to promote your YouTube channels and stuff. Oh, hi. Hi, Aaron. It's okay to promote your YouTube channels during a chat or, you know, during a good time, you know, don't go to somebody's live sale and advertise your sale. That's not very, that's just kind of rude. <laughs> just don't do that. Um, during a chat, like right now is a chat. So if you have a YouTube channel, put your channel in the comments. Don't put it in the chat because people are going, more people are going to see it if you put it in the comments. So put your YouTube uh, channel in the, in the comments um, so people can see it and people can go and subscribe. Um, so I you know, just have, a, have being consistent and you have to be fun to watch too. Uh, people like shop with me videos. People like shop with me videos that those are the most popular videos are the, my videos do the best when they are shop with me videos. How many sellers do you need to have before, uh, before an Instagram sale will take off or how many followers? It, it, sometimes it doesn't matter when, when I have the chance, I try to, when someone's having a live sale, um, it's, it's always kind to do like, if you're watching a live sale, go ahead and share that sell with people that are in your friends list, share it, you know, um, by Kelly. You can share it with your friends and get their eyes on it so they can see it. And then you're just helping, you're, you're helping that person, you know, get, get some views, maybe get some followers that way. Um, share people's sales on, on, uh, Facebook. So, you know, you can share yours, you can share your friends. Um, but yeah, I mean, Shop with me's if you if you do shop with me videos, you know that they are not always the easiest to do because you got to spend money. So like I spent a lot of money last week because I did a lot of shop with me videos. I'm looking at my table right now and it is I had a hard time even getting everything on the table for the haul. It's such a good. Oh, my gosh. It's such a good haul. Um, my haul videos don't do as well. But. On, on YouTube, but I sell things from my haul videos. So when you take 